now we have to use the toad for an oracle so we have to work with the tables so we'll close all other windows and now let's go to the database and we have the schema browser now in the schema browser on the left hand side as you can see all the tables has been list of tables and on the right hand side there is an parameters associated with each table has been displayed okay so we will see the each parameter one by one so on the left hand side you can see there are names of different tables and on clicking each table you get the different parameters associated with that particular table so now let's take a table emp uh, now as the first step suggests it's the columns so it says the name of the columns the data type and everything has been enclosed over here for the table which <coughs> if there are ids defined how many primary keys not null so all the detailed versions of the all the parameters has been explained in the columns the next step is indexes if we have defined any index on this table so for this yes we have defined an index the name is defined over here which is in the blue color then is it's a unique then on which column it is defined and which schema it is so the details related to the index has been defined over here then we have the constraint now the constraint has been defined over here so on which column the constraint has been defined and what type it is so it's a primary key which has been defined on employee number then there is a referential key has been defined for the column manager so for which column the reference key has been defined that has been defined over here so these are the all the constraint defined in the table has been done over here you can define a new constraint by clicking over here as we can see we have the create constraint option over here so either you can give the name of the constraint of your choice according to your project naming convention or if you click on the suggest the oracle also suggest you the constraint name in which schema you have to create which table you have to create that also you can select it's a check it's a unique key or it's a foreign key that has you need to define if it's a foreign key then which the reference table you have to use it so that have to define suppose i define a unique key for the e name and then i see a show sql then it gives me an sql statement for creating a unique constraint so using this tool we can learn the unique constraint also so this is the way we define the constraint in the tables if we want to disable some of the constraint for some specific reason we can select and then we click on the disable constraint and the constraint will be disable as all the tool tip suggest if we want to uh, alter any of the constraint then also we can do it we want to rename any of the constraint that also can be performed then if we want to drop some any of the constraint any foreign key or any of the thing then this all the 
process can be done from the from this window after constraint we have the triggers so any triggers associated with this particular table will be also used it's defined in this particular area now the important tab that is data as the data suggest in this tab we can see all the data which are present in this particular table here we can add the tape data also by selecting the row and if we click on plus we can add the data whatever we require or we can delete the data also also if they are exceeding by more than one pages we can move to last record move to the first record so that we don't need to scroll down if we want to see a particular record in detail then it's a single record view so these are the different view which are available into this so you we can filter out the data also if we want to define a filter if we want to see only the job which is this is for sorting and if we want to filter job is equal to manager and click on okay then we'll be able to see the only data related to the manager so we have filter out the data when you have put performing a filter operation you can see this filter sign becomes the green once i remove the filter here we have the clear filter and click on okay so as you can see again it comes to the normal then here we can see the to select the data what is the query has to be executed so this is the query so these are the data sets which are available with the current the current table if we want to export this data in any of the file we can do that then we can do click on this which type of file we want we want the text file or we any of the file type which we can select over here and click on okay we have to define the name of the file so i define emp and my path has been defined it will be over here i can put it on the desktop also and click on okay and as you can see on the desktop the file is there and the data has been exported so through toad we can export the data also the last record going to the first record toggling between the record addition of the data deletion of the data moving upwards this is commit these are the different operations which we can perform using the data tab in the toad